Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool film video for you this evening. We usually do videos on arcade games, pinball machines, and jukeboxes. Lately, on the weekends, I've been doing some videos on fixing radios and clocks. Clocks. Um, because I like vintage electronic stuff. Well... Today, this video is going to have nothing to do with arcade games, jukeboxes, or pinball machines. So if you're interested in that, I'll see you in a couple days. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> but for the rest of you who are just interested in uh, fun stuff, I have this box here. Now, this box is scary. Look at all of the... Right? Look at this. Ugh. So what is in this box? I was at the flea market and there's a gentleman up there named Julius who gets all kinds of cool old stuff. I figured out that he, I talked to him a little bit and he works for an auction company. And so he does estate sales and things like that. Well, uh, one day I went by and he had an entire box of film, film reels. Now this bag here I bought separately from somebody else. It's also film reels, but we'll look at that here in a minute. And I think these I bought separately from someone else. <laughs> so it was this box right here. And so I walked by and go, huh, that's pretty interesting. Now I'm going to show this to you and you'll see some names and stuff. I believe these people are deceased. So I don't believe that it's, it's really, um, I don't think I have to worry about doxing people. So I think everything will be fine. And it, it was an estate sale. I believe that all this came from, but I'm walking by and there is, a whole bunch of boxes like this with film in them, but they're, they look damaged or they're at least partially damaged. Okay. There's a bunch of them in there. And so I'm looking at them and I'm thinking, huh, I've got some projectors, but I've never really messed with them. I've just picked them up here and there. And then I start looking and it says like, Easter, 1960. Huh. I'd like to see what Easter, 1960 was like. Lithium. Mostly at, I don't know what that is. But it appears to say April 3rd, 1955. And it, it's stamped from Washington, D.C. Well, what's that one about? I don't know. And it's Kodachrome. That's the good stuff, isn't it? That's what Paul Simon said. Disneyland. And apparently it was um Developed at Kmart or Kmart had something to do with it. I don't know. Uh, and then I saw one in here that, that really looked great. This says November 1954. Now, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to watch any of these, but we're going to try. There's one I want you to see. Let me see if I can find it. April 1955. Um... Where is it? I saw one that I was like, oh yeah, that's the one. Let me find it. Oh yeah, here we go. Here it is. This is the one. When I saw this, I thought, yeah. Christmas 1956. I got to see what happened at Christmas 1956. I got to. Okay, so I'm looking at these, and Julius, he always sells everything cheap, and you know, it's 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 always a deal. Bach Tower, St. Augustine, 1969. I guess that's what that says. All right, so I'm looking at one, and he comes over and he says, I'm going to sell the whole box for $20. Oh, come on, man. Now I got to get it. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I, I think that might be it was... I'm, I'm guessing maybe it was up in the attic and water was leaking on the box. 
I guess. It could be, you know, these things outgas. I will say they don't smell. You know, I've I've always heard that they they stink after a while. And I've ha I've got I've had some before that stink. Um I saw a, a box with a bunch of slides in it about a week ago, and I didn't buy it because they just smelled so strong. I mean, and I'm not even all that I don't really care, but you know, I can't have it. Yeah, I, I just I can't have it around if it just stinks. It it literally smelled toxic, right? These do not smell at all, so I don't know. Maybe there's nothing in there. I haven't seen a film yet. I mean, there could be there's nothing in these. Sure sounds like there is, though. Okay, and then from my buddy Gene, I got these. <laughs> Abbott and Costello comedies. He was driving around with these in his in his truck. And I said, Gene, he goes to the flea market all the time. He's in his 80s now. And I said, Gene, uh, what are you going to do with these? And he said, I got to test out my, my, uh, I got to test out my projector. And I said, how much you want for him? And he said, I'll take $10. <laughs> WC Fields Comedy, A Laugh Riot, Castle Films. And then The Adventures of Tarzan in The She-Devil. I think I've seen this one before. <laughs> Okay, and then we had this one at the store for a long time. I had this out on the shelf trying to sell it for like five years. Nobody would buy it. Probably because I didn't put a price tag on it. It was $5, people. Another Abbott and Costello. Oysters and Muscles. Um, I love Abbott and Costello. When I was a kid, this is my, it was my, fat, my dad's favorites when I was a kid. Um, I watched them all the time because he would play them but, and you know, I'm only 44, but, uh, whenever I was a kid, I used to watch them all the time whenever they were on TV or he'd buy like the black and white VHS tape or something. And then a couple weeks ago, I was at the flea market and I found all of these and I got all these for $10. Dover films. Now I don't think any of these are copyrighted. I, they may be, but I think it's going to be, if I can even get them to play, I think they're going to be so grainy. Well, this one might be gone. <laughs> I, I think it's going to be so grainy that they're not even going to be able to tell what's going on. Yeah, like the, these ones that I got for $10, they look pretty bad. I mean, I, I know that's the leader, but I mean, it's so filthy. I don't know. There may not even, it may just be all screwed up. I don't know. These also do not stink, but I mean, look at this. There's probably nothing even on the, well, let's see. There's something on something. Who knows? I don't even know what any of these are. Now, if one of them comes up and it's a, it's something I'm not supposed to show, I'll delete it. Woody Woodpecker. One of my favorites as a kid. I picked up this Walkman for a dollar. <laughs> Stolen did that, right? Stole to that Walkman. Another Woody Woodpecker. Look how it looks. Oh, it says Cracked Nut. Look, they have the same cover, but I guess it just would have a different name on the end. Uh, Gun Town, starring Kirby Grant. Gun Town, starring Kirby Grant. Mighty Mouse. Jekyll and Hyde cat. Farmer Alfalfa. I have never even heard of this. Never heard of it. Um, Walt Disney cartoons. I've heard of Walt Disney. Kind of a big thing, you know. So I don't know what either of those are. So here's what I'm going to do. 
when I bought this box, it was actually a month or two ago, a couple months ago. We're going to play a little game, okay? That wasn't the only thing I bought that day. So let me show you what else he had at the same estate sale. But well, it wasn't at an estate sale. I was buying things that he had bought at the estate sale. And so I think what happened was he went in and he picked up all the things that, that they could auction or sell or whatever. And then there was stuff left over that wasn't as valuable, like this box of film that's damaged. Um, and you ain't going to believe the next thing. Here in the corner behind the chair I'm sitting in is this sweet Victrola stand. It's just the stand. It's not even made by Victrola. This is a aftermarket stand for a Victrola record player. Now, and, it, and of course, it, you can put the records in it. Now, look at this. See the little feet things? And then see how this has this strange kind of curve? It's because some of the Victrola record players, that's what the bottom of them look like. So you could buy a tabletop one or a floor model one. If you had a tabletop one, some of them have a, like a, they have legs in the corner and then the very bottom of the cabinet is curved. This case was an aftermarket thing made by another company so that you could take your Victrola and like snap it on top of it, almost like Legos. So when I got it, this thing had mold all over it. Not all over it, but here and there. And so I, it, it's the same thing. It's sitting out there at the flea market in the gravel, right? And he says, now I'm already going to get the film things. And he says, I'll take $20 for the Victrola cabinet and all those records. And there was like, <laughs> there's this big box just full of records. And the inside of the cabinet's full of records. This is kind of a unique one. Again, it's an aftermarket one, so it's not the, the typical one that you see. Usually they have shelves in them, but this one has like vertical slots and they're like, it's felt lined. It's kind of cool. And so they all have numbers. So there's a little hook here. I'm wondering if there was like a, there may have even been like a little note board, a little clipboard that hung here or something that had a legend of what all of the, the titles were. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't seen one like this. This, all of this white is the bleach that I used and the uh, the cleaner that I used to clean all the uh, the mold off with. It wasn't real bad, but it, there was mold, little mold spots all over the place. So I cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and cleaned. It got it pretty clean, but I need to wipe it down again. On this side, there's three little cups for your three different sizes of needles. And then there's a little hole. There probably at one point was a little metal piece in there. Or maybe not. But you, after you use the needle, you know, you're only supposed to use it for like one record. You would drop it in that hole. And then down here, there is a little cup that folds out where all the bad needles are. And so it's still got a few in there. Okay. I believe this is from the same estate as the films. Think about that. So I've got film, a bunch of film of some family somewhere. I wonder if the Victrola is in the background of the any of the films. So whose Victrola do you think this was? All of these records are like Italian opera records. Except for this one. <laughs> but many of them are. This one is uh, French opera. Torna e Suriento. Baritone with a court with orchestra in Italian, right? So it's like Italian opera records. So I want to watch these films and see if we can figure out who owned the record player. I'm thinking it was Grandma's. That's what I think. <laughs> if we see Grandma in one of the videos, 
Um, I'm going to say this was her record player. Now, the actual record player is missing. I don't know what they did with the Victrola. It has more value. So I guess it's one of those things where somebody thought, oh, that's probably worth three or $400. And then they thought, well, the stand's kind of moldy. It's been up in the attic and just left it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a a Victrola that'll match that. There's actually several models. I looked it all up. But there's different colors. So it just depends on, on which one you get. This is kind of like a mahogany. There's like an oak. And then there's a really dark one. Um, so it looks like there's about three different colors. So if I find one in this mahogany color, I'm going to buy it. So I've had all these for a while and I've been wanting to, to watch them. And I thought, well, you know what I need is a screen because I've got some, some projectors. I thought, well, what I need is a screen, one of those cool old screens, and I'll set it up and watch some of them. I found a screen. Check it out. It's exactly what I wanted. It's like a 60s model metal portable screen. So let's try to set it up. So I was at the thrift store and that was folded up, leaning up against the wall. And uh, so here's how I, usually I go in thrift stores and I go about, I've got about, let me think, one, two, three, there's four. I go to about four of them every week. And um, so I'll go once a week to four different stores, right? And usually I go in and I walk around and I don't buy anything. Because I don't want clothes, I don't want knickknacks, I don't want none of that. All I want is old hipster vintage crap, right? So there's an old radio, an old clock. I'll buy it. And I had my eye out. I wanted to get one of these. This is exactly what I wanted. And I even saw it in my mind that it was going to be a blue one. I was thinking, yeah, I need one of those cool fold-up uh, projection screens. Those metal ones. And then whenever I was thinking of that, I was thinking of a blue one. And then I walked in a thrift store and there was one leaning up against the wall over there and it didn't have a price on it. And I thought, oh man, I hope they don't want a fortune for this thing. But it was exactly what I wanted. So I was like, the hell, I'm going to get it anyway. So uh, they have this policy that if there's not a price on something, you can't buy it because people peel the freaking price tags off of stuff, right? So something will say $20 and somebody will take the price tag off and then take it up to the person at the desk and say, oh, this didn't have a price in the hopes that they'll say, oh, give me $10, right? So this didn't have a price tag on it. They had put it out and not priced it just accidentally. So I took it up to the front. Woman's walking out of the back and I, I know she's the, the big hot shot, you know? And so I tell her, hey, you look like who I need to talk to. And she goes... Yeah, and she's in a big hurry. And I go, I saw this over in the corner. It didn't have a price on it. And she's like, really? And she looks at it. And she, you know, she can't find a price tag. And she goes, how's $5? And I go, that sounds great. Okay, so over the years, I've picked up five different projectors. So this is our first one we'll try. I don't even know. I guess this is all eight and super eight, but I don't know what the wide ones are. This is way before my time. I never had any of these when I was a kid. Um, but a lot of them say 8 and Super 8. But these ones that are bigger, like what is that? That's thicker. I don't think that's, uh, that's going to be something else. So anyway, we'll figure it out. Let's see, the ones that, that look the best to me, I'll say... Like, what are these? What are the Kodachrome ones? Yeah, it says 8mm. Hmm. Okay. That's why this is called amateur repair time, people. I have no clue what I'm doing. I just like old stuff. And if it's cheap, you know, a lot of this stuff, people have died, you know? I mean, that's what's going on. Somebody passed away, and this is their old projector and they don't need it anymore and nobody's buying it so why not me now I have used you know projectors before in school and stuff back in the day this one does not have the uh, take up reel I'm gonna have to steal one off something
Look, it has a little cleaning brush. What would that be for? To get down around the, uh, the lens, maybe? Uh, one of these, there's something about, don't you need a special adapter for one of the reels? Something like that. I definitely need a take-up reel. And I've never even plugged these in. I don't know if the lamps work or not, but I got five of them. We ought to be able to get one of them to work. Surely. All right. Is this a, look, it does say super. It says super, people. And regular. So, uh, that will probably play at least one of these. We're going to try to, we're going to try to do Abbott and Costello first. If I mess it up, it's a Super 8, it says. If I mess it up, this could probably be rebought, you know. But those home movies are priceless. Just not to their family. It's all right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, okay, so yes, let me see if I can figure out how to turn it on. Well, the first one is smoking. If I put it on still, so it, I don't know if it's running or not. Yeah, it's smoking. Yeah, we got to turn it off. But that just, could just be there's something on the lamp. I don't know. Well, I oiled it a little bit. It's getting there. That belt's not helping us any. That's how the belt's kind of need some help. So I oiled the bearing, the pivots on the bearings, I guess, on the motors, and I oiled the gears and everything that rotates. But basically, it just now kicked in where it's running pretty decent, but it's probably still not right though. But the, uh, the, uh, basically the, the belt has a kink in it, and every time it gets to that kink, it slows down. But it's not smoking. Um, so that's good. <laughs> Apparently I didn't completely burn it up. It looks like you probably need to disassemble the whole thing, take the motor apart, oil it, take all these gears apart, oil them. But we might be able to run a movie through it. All right, folks, we're gonna try it. So it's the Abbott and Costello comedies, but I don't, I, I, I turned it on and it don't look like it's Abbott and Costello to me. So let's see what we got. It's hard to tell what speed, like this is the slowest speed. This is a super eight. I think that just crops it though, doesn't it? Crops it different. So this appears to be somebody's on a vehicle. I'll tell you if I recognize any of that. These, well, I don't know where it would be from because I got these from Gene and it's in the it's in this Abbott and Costello box and I did not get them mixed up. That's how he sold it to me. He bought it at the flea market though. So this, if you're here in, uh, around Charlotte, this could be Lake Wiley, maybe. So there's a train trestle across some water. That kind of looks like the area of uh, down near Rock Hill where the shop is. But again, it shouldn't be. It should be an Abbott and Costello movie, but. <laughs> <coughs> Let's see what we got. Duke Power has a bunch of uh, electrical stuff down there. But I don't know, this could be from Pennsylvania or something. Oh, there's a kid. Who this? And by the way, people, I ain't gonna tolerate anybody uh, saying anything rude about any of the people that appear in these videos, you know? So if you put a rude comment, you know, about somebody's uh, appearance or their weight or something like that, I'm gonna delete it and probably block you from the channel. But um, so let's see if we can figure out like an, a year that this might've been 
I mean, it's obviously in color, so what would that make it? That smoke comes from the uh, lens if I pause it, too, so it doesn't like that. I'm probably burning something up, but it was doing that without the film in it, so I don't know. So somebody filmed their kid playing with a ball. Oh, look at that jacket. Gotta be, what? Mm, Mid-70s? Might be able to tell by the shoes. Oh yeah, look at the shoes. They've got like little lines on them, probably mid-70s. You know what would be like the freakiest thing is if I find myself on one of these videos? As far as I know, we don't have any home videos from way back. Now, I do have some from the 90s. But this, like this film stuff, way before my time. Uh, my parents never had any of it that I was aware of. So I guess that's mom and dad, maybe. I can't tell how old that girl is, but playing with the kid. There's a grandma. This is not from the group of stuff though that I got the uh, that I got at the flea market. This is a different setup that I bought at a different time from a different person. Little little miniature collie. I don't know. It, I'm getting more of an '80s vibe from it. I mean, the house looks older, but you know, houses are old. <laughs> By the way, people, I went through the trouble to buy all this stuff. It's all my copyright. So if anybody copies this, if you, if you want to copy it, just email me. I'll probably let you do it unless you go make a bunch of money and then I want it cut. I want some. Oh look, they're filming the sky because they. So this is cool because it's you know what do people think is worth filming? They think the the sun's worth filming. Yeah, that's that. Uh, it came off the little thing. Okay, so that's that one. That's the one that was supposed to be Abbott and Costello. So I'm gonna put it up while try loading up another one. All right, it's rewinding fast. By the way, about the. Uh, the comments, you can make funny comments and, and all that. I just don't want people being mean-spirited about people that are dead or whatever, you know? I mean, come on now. So, we can all have fun and joke, but I don't, I don't want to, like, be rude and mean-spirited to people. All right, next one. This is supposed to be the WC Films comedy, The Great Chase, but who knows? Oh, it is. Let's see if I can get it to wire it up. I think it's doing that because maybe it's stuck together. Uh, if I slow it down, no. Oh, look. He's trying to rob the bank. I think if you, if you uh, rewind it, let's rewind it and see if it... Yeah, I think it was stuck together just from, from fitting, sitting on the uh, reel for so long. We'll go back and try it back the other way. Nah. Yeah, I think maybe it's dragging a little bit. Be able to adjust that out. I don't know. It's not a focus thing. It's a. a that's not it. Like I 
I said, people, amateur repair time. I don't know what I'm doing, and this projector is of unknown origin. <laughs> I never watched WC Fields. Uh, it's a little bit before my time, too. Back to this one, we're going to watch the Christmas one. Been working on the railroad. Uh, no. <laughs> well, that was filmed well. I bet they filmed it in slow mo. something to save the windshield. They had fixed for a second. There we go. I just need to adjust the framing here. Perfect. Oh, he keeps taking parts off the car. <laughs> Where'd the motor go? Okay, I think that's about it. D in. Let's see if it lines up on the way back. See how the framing's different on the uh, on reverse? So does that mean the thing just got better because I had it on for longer and it's still got problems with the uh, the motor? Or does that mean that uh, the first half of the film's messed up? It's kind of better backwards. <laughs> more interesting in reverse. So I've got it full speed and that's about the right length. I mean the right speed it seems like. watch the part where he ran over everybody for forward speed again to see if it fixed it. That all looked kind of interesting. That part. That's pretty cool. Alright. Nope, it don't like it forward for some reason. That's probably still the projector. All right. Next film. All right, folks. I got a little number for you here called Christmas 1959. We'll see if this is anything interesting. It took me a while to load it. I haven't seen it uh, even a split second of it yet. Um... We got people. I wish it wouldn't jump on me so much. I might have to try it with a different. There we go. Ha! Boy, she looks like she's having a good time. Christmas 1959. Let's see what the presents are. I see a doll, baby. Won't be no Nintendos this Christmas, people. Look how they had tinsel on the tree. 
But, you know, nobody does that anymore. Mom's handing out presents. Look, she's all dressed up for Christmas. She's waving at us. This is 64 years ago. dressed up too. Let's see what she gets. We're getting close to the end, folks. Oh no, we're out of time. <laughs> That's all we got. swap the reels well that was pretty cool folks so there you go leave your comments below let me know what you think let me know if you want to see any more of these if you do i'll do another video but you know some people might not care but if i get enough comments saying that they want to see more i'll load up some more i've got some that say easter i've got some that say one of them just said something about let me let me read it to you i saw some overseas ones July 57, April 10th, 1955, spring 1956, I saw one where they were overseas, let me see what they said, Christmas 58, Easter 1960, June and July 1955, Um, where's the overseas one I saw? Orleans to Paris, Iceland. Come home, May 1954. Pretty cool, folks. All right, so leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. I think I enjoyed it. Was it worth my $20 for the films? My probably $10 for the projector and my $5 for the projector screen. abso freaking -lutely. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it for you. <laughs> and we'll see you. We'll see you back in about two days with an arcade game, pinball, or jukebox video like everybody likes. So I'll see you then. Hope you enjoyed it.